Review Game Zone allows educators to turn multiple choice questions into addicting review games and quizzes. Our game generator for teachers is 100% free for educators and their students. We know that a teacher's time is valuable, so we streamline the process of game generation. Simply type the question and answer choices into a web-based form, and with the press of a button, the cloud-based game generator instantly creates games, using the information you entered previously. It really is that simple to start gamifying your classroom. The content in the game is fully personalized and customized to suit your students' needs. Don't have time to make a game? Search through our database of games created by other teachers. We have over half a million questions within our games, so it's easy to find the right one for your class. The Game Generator for Teachers runs in the cloud, so you can access or edit them from anywhere in the world. Plus, there are no downloads or installation required. Games can be accessed in the school computer lab, displayed on an interactive whiteboard, played on iPads, PCs, Android tablets, laptops, or mobile phones. In order to play these games, the student must answer a question correct. When they do, they get to play part of the game as a reward. The more they answer correct, the longer they get to play the game. Use these games to help unmotivated learners or to turn workbook review or test preparation into fun time. There are many titles of gameplay for students to choose from on the site, so you shouldn't have a problem keeping the students engaged. Plus, we offer a basic multiple choice test in a non-game format for the students who do not want to play games but still want to study. Our game generator for teachers is 100% free to use for both the teacher and student. Teachers get a lifetime membership with unlimited game creation possibilities. So what are you waiting for? Sign up today. Visit ReviewGameZone.com forward slash join or click on the sign up slash register tab located on the left hand side of the page.